Hey everybody, it's Ray, it's Life and Vibe, and today I'm back over to Sarasota Tim and his recent travels to California with his good friend Miss T, or Miss Tammy as we often know her as, and she has been not wanting to be seen in film, which is understandable, and she has been wanting to take a sort of backseat role in any of the content that Tim has been putting out. But despite him having a visitor in town, Tim continues to want to put content out to share, obviously, with his audience because he knows that Miss T can often bring more views for him. But before we get started, let me just bring out my fair use and let everybody know this is for entertainment purposes only and his content will be transformative. And even though I am a registered nurse here in the United States, trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, I am not treating or diagnosing Tim, even though we will be talking about some parts of psychology today. So yeah, um, let me just bring up real fast and I'm going to try to make sure I can stop the, <laughs> the little video in time because it tends to move very quickly on me. Uh, I was reading a... Wait, let me stop that. I was reading a study today or a paper, I should say, uh, and it was a study, the Selfishness Questionnaire egocentric, adaptive, and pathological forms of selfishness. And the first thing they pointed out that selfishness is widely regarded as an inordinate focus on one's own welfare, regardless of the well-being of others. And I feel that the other day when Tim was going to pick up Miss Tammy from the airport, he was more focused on what it would cost him for short-term parking then he was thinking about greeting her, helping her with the luggage, and just making her feel welcome, showing up with flowers. I mean, Miss Tammy is a generation where that would be like something that you would expect a man to want to do for a woman. And uh, Tim and just his, you know, all, you know, it's about him at the end of the day, really, in my opinion. And this is my opinion only, okay? Now, the next one thing I wanted to point out, we'll go to the next one real fast, is that one of the things they pointed out, and I'm not saying, because I'm not treating a diagnosing term, I'm just kind of looking at the way he behaves with, with folk, is that narcissistic personality disorder, and that's what we call it now, a narcissistic personality traits, is characterized by egotistical grandiosity, with one diagnostic feature consisting of taking advantage of other people for one's own end. And so just kind of think about that as we watch Miss Tammy in this car ride have to play Kim, Tim's cameraman. And just the fact that all the hotel rooms, uh, you'll hear about it, but it, it's just, just kind of, you know, I'm not saying this is what he has as a personality trait, but it, I would be interested for him to do this questionnaire. And then just the last thing real quick is that, and if anybody has heard of Machiavellianism, it reflects duplicitous scheming and dishonest behavior, often in a way to better serve the interests of the individual. And we often feel that sometimes our friend Tim potentially is thinking about his own self, what he can gain. And I, I wonder if at the end of the day, he really is considering others. The way he was bossing Jay around on the golf course or making sure that he was using his friend Timmy's access to the buffet. There's just all types of behaviors that Tim demonstrates that potentially would help you understand his characteristics and selfishness. It's a construct. There hasn't been a lot. We used to think that people were selfish because it was an adaptive thing, but I think as we start to study psychology in this area a little bit more, we're starting to find out that maybe it has other implications in psychology. So it's a little bit more complex than, say, the objective information we could get from looking at somebody's blood pressure. When we're dealing with psychology and that area, we often have to use questionnaires and then it's going to be reliant on the person answering the questionnaire. Anyway, let me not get too boring on this. I have sped Tim up to 
1.25 to get him speaking a little bit faster. And we'll just kind of listen to what he talks about and just, you know, kind of listen from there. Okay, Tim, take it away. Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim and Miss T. I want to thank her right away for videoing for me. She is a very good videographer, by the way. And she'll, she'll be zooming in and showing you things as I talk. Welcome to morning chat. So we just left Temecula. He's kind of, I think, trying to show he's saying thank you because I believe we have called him out for not me just alone, but other channels for having not been grateful. So I think he's trying to show he's not being uh, using her uh, and being a camera person that he's actually trying to be, you know, look, I'm saying thank you. Maybe she doesn't want to do this on a car ride, Tim. Maybe making being your camera person is not the reason why she's on vacation. Have you just considered that? It's he's really is, in my opinion, very self-centered in some ways. And we are going to Oceanside, and we're going to walk the Oceanside Pier and video it for you. It's where I used to surf, one of the many places up and down the coast of San Diego. And um We'll get lunch later and all that, but that's that's way down the road. So we're already looking for lodging. And I got to give another shout out to um, to Hilton Tom. Uh, Florida Tom is now known as Hilton Tom. He's our new Hilton hookup. And Hilton Tom uh, showed me a trick on my Hilton Honors uh, fans, friends and fans. I think Tom even paid for a room for Tim. I mean, it just is amazing to me that this is a 65-year-old man who is getting, like, comped by his subscribers i not that i don't appreciate the thanks and the super chats and the things that i receive from my subscribers don't get me wrong or the buy me a coffees i understand you know i'm a graduate student but tim is a 65 year old man he should be the one doing this the fact that he has other people that are helping him in these endeavors i mean i understand but why are you making content about it it just it's just it's very odd to me. I just, I just, I don't get his personality well. Well, I do, but I just don't want to say. Emily, that I can uh, click on the calendar and it shows the prices of different dates. So since we're going to be here for a couple more days, instead of looking just for tonight, if to this man is so focused on money. I mean, he was so focused on money he could not even park a car to greet somebody because he's thinking about his pocket. And this is somebody who gets hundreds of dollars through his buy me a coffee. And then goes and blows it on clothes. Because we've seen how he's been tossing things in the, the car for Walmart. But there is also this idea that he buys things and allegedly then returns it, but then keeps the receipts in order to put it on his taxes. Because I guess he thinks that anything he purchases clothing-wise while he's shopping through Walmart because he's made it into content is a tax deduction. And I think he's hitting a very gray area of taxes. I think he may be misunderstanding how it works when you are purchasing items in order to have your YouTube business. I think anything he does, probably the rental car, everything, he's probably trying to write it all off on his taxes. <sighs> he's a right one. Anyway, let Tomorrow me shows a good deal in the region here. You know, it's hit or miss. They could be one hundred dollars, sixty dollars to four hundred dollars. I mean, that's the kind of deal I've got here. So we're uh, we're looking to get something a little more expensive uh, with our deal tonight in the gas lamp quarter or on the bay or downtown San Diego. We're gonna start out in Oceanside. Get the hands on. Oh, okay, this is also he is like so focused on talking about his hotel room and getting a deal. His hands have literally left the wheel of the car because he's so gesticulative. Just focus on driving. There's other vehicles around you, Tim. It's not you. It's not you, your universe only. There are other people around you. It just infuriates. I, I just, even with a camera person, he's managed to show no safety on the road. County, and then we'll work our way down past uh, Del Mar, La Jolla, and all that. But anyway, I definitely want to give a shout out to uh, Johnny Vegas. Mm. Uh, I talked to him this morning. Oh, he, uh, he sponsored uh, uh, Tammy and I, and of course to uh, Hilton Tom. Sponsored. No, you just took a freebie off somebody who's a subscriber. Unless you've got Johnny Vegas. If, if they're really sponsoring, I hope you've got the links down below.
or that you've put in that this is sponsored content through YouTube because you're supposed to indicate certain things on your videos, mate. I'm sorry. He's aggravating to me today. <laughs> he's just, mm, it's just a cad. Uh, we wouldn't even be able to do this. We'd be broke. Uh, these rooms here are expensive, but we've really saved. And uh, we are going back to our sharing our meals. A lot of you have asked in the uh, comments. Let me go over some of the comments. Um, oh, I cannot with you, Tim. I would never want to date anybody like Tim if I were even interested in dating. It would not be somebody like Tim. The minute they were like talking about splitting a meal or bringing a coupon, I'm sorry. If you're going to be that cheap, I have no interest. I'm not saying that I'm like a big spender who isn't doing responsible things with their money, but he is beyond cheap because you've seen how he has thrown clothes. If it comes to him and his wardrobe, oh man, we'll be spending at least some money. Anything else, He's a cheap, he's cheap skating, everything. It's just, oh, it's because, oh, he's, he, mm, girls, gosh, Miss Tammy. Oh, but he'll spend your money on a house, girl. Don't you get it wrong. For somebody else's money, Tim will be having the best time ever. Sorry, let me let him go. But gosh, can you imagine you're filming this and this is the person you're listening to? Mm, Tim, turn on. We are definitely, uh, Miss T is all about low calorie anyway. Oh, We're gonna okay. go back to sharing, eating vegetables, and doing that kind of thing. So <laughs> that's all I need. I, I gotta, I gotta drop a couple of lbs. Mm. And we're gonna get our walking in. We walked some yesterday. My back, I don't know what it is. I got a, a thing. Uh, Johnny gave me a patch. It's one of these uh, pharmaceutical uh, from her, from the doctor. It's mm, got a little great. bit more that Latticade, Latticade. Great, because you're not supposed to share prescriptions. So I'm glad you just told on yourself because that's actually a no no. So somebody needs to inform Johnny Vegas' doctor that he's sharing his prescription, whether it's a lidocaine patch, a Tylenol, or a narcotic. You should not be sharing your prescriptions with anybody because that's not been prescribed to Tim. Johnny Vegas is a right one, isn't he? And he didn't even want to talk to him until he gave him golf clubs. It's all about Tim. <laughs> Glad you told on yourself, Tim, because that's not allowed. Whoever you're... Doctor is Johnny Vegas. He needs to to disown you as a patient, or the nurse needs to have a conversation with you about sharing your prescriptions, regardless of whether it's a lidocaine patch. In it, and I'm going to put that on as soon as we stop up here. I'm going to change my shirt, and mm. we're going to try and get some golf in too. We're going to meet uh, California Steve on uh, Thursday. That's Steve our check reported ahead on I-15 South. Uh, we're going to meet him for dinner, coffee, golf. Some of it, all of it, not sure yet. Uh, we were supposed to get with him today. Something came up that they had to defer till Thursday, which is fine. We'll still get with them. They're right here in Temecula. And uh, look at this guy. He has cop. Look at him hiding. That's that speed check. Look at that. He's sitting over there hiding. Look at that, what they do here. <laughs> so he's either shooting radar when you go by or he's got an eye in the sky. Mm. And uh, they come after you. But do not speed in California. I have heard this GPS say, speed check ahead. I mean, many times. Look at this valley we're going down. Now, it's early in the morning. It's 7.47 a.m. <sighs> I'm just obviously stopping to make commentary. I think he's saying it all out loud. I don't think there's really much I need to say at this point. But uh, it's all about Tim. Does Tammy, she's flown all the way out from Florida. I don't think Tammy golfs. But Tim still needs to get out and do his golf game. Wow. You couldn't take a week off? Just a week off, rest your back? Maybe let Tammy just have a nice time? No, you're a cheap sod who's splitting meals and making this woman your camera woman, followed by fitting in your golf game. And seemingly a little bit upset that somebody else had plans that didn't involve you, Tim. I, I would never want to include him in a plan of anything. Other than a plan to get him off of YouTube. Look at this. We're on I-15 southbound. We're going down this valley. I was telling Miss T that San Diego compared to L.A., which is kind of flat, except for the mountains around it, is San Diego has hills like this mm. and smaller ones all around. It, it's just beautiful. San Diego is amazing. Folks, I know you hear a lot of stuff on TV for the last couple of decades, you know, making fun of California.
That's my dog probably hearing my package get delivered. Thank you, Junebug, for making yourself known on my video. <laughs> all right, girl. Thank you. Thank you to your chair. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, the left coast and the woke and all these things. Let me tell you right now. All right. Let me let me find out what's going on here. It was nothing, but she is a great guard dog. So thank you, Junebug, for being a wonderful puppy. <sighs> she was like, I don't want to hear Tim anymore. Sorry about the barking, guys. Just, you know, puppy life. <laughs> Let's look at the positive. The positive is it's the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful states in our country. The people, by and large, are very nice people. What would they have to be angry about? Heat isn't annoying them. Uh, things to do isn't annoying them. And, you know, you can't believe half of what you hear and none of what you read. But the weather is fantastic. And look at these roads. One, two, three, four lanes uh, to move traffic. And it's a quarter to eight on a weekday. And I know there can be a lot of traffic, but we're going to come out long. In two miles, take exit 46 onto CA 76 toward Oceanside. All right, we're almost to Escondido, where I used to live in an RV years ago. I mean, I don't understand why he has to. I mean, I understand they want to show the road, but he always has the GPS going. He's. I just, anyway, I know my dog just barked, so I get it. There are distractions, but I'm not driving and trying to talk about myself. Ten years ago, and I had my sand rail. We're taking a state road, 76, which goes due west to Oceanside, dead ends in Oceanside at the I-5. I can't believe it. That's how close we are? Wow. So, yeah, Temecula is very close to San Diego. But all these houses over here, um, it's hard to see because... One, the windows aren't that clean in this car, and the sun is beaming in. But um, when I lived here when I was very, very young... Uh, well, Tim, if you knew you were going to try to film content out the window, you could have, you know, done a car wash at a time, had a car wash, but I guess that would have cost money, and that would, you know, just rip your soul out of your body to spend your money. Everybody else's money. Oh, Tim is, like, dining the fine life, you know? Uh, the area of Temecula was undeveloped. It was pretty much what Steve's showing you now. Nothing. And they just started going to town. And now it's it's like the, if you know anything about Florida, uh, Port St. Lucie started being developed, uh, the north end of Palm Beach County. It's actually in Martin County. Or it's actually in, uh, I forget what county Port St. Lucie's in. St. Lucie County. You go past Stewart, uh, Martin County, and then you go to St. Lucie County. Anyway, it's everything is grown. Everything is grown. And no matter where you go, it's beautiful. Uh, this is a, a wonderful place to live here. Lots of golf courses. You could be the, to Big Bear Mountain, uh, Palm Springs. Use the right lane to take exit 46 onto CA 76 toward Oceanside. Uh, Tim, I don't think anybody would ever hire you as a tour guide. <laughs> Your narrative is boring when you're explaining places. You know nothing about anything except where's a golf course and a Walmart and the cheapest place to eat, sharing meals with Miss Tammy. Miss Tammy, you need to get the heck out of Dodge ASAP, in my opinion. And that's not anything from a professional. That's just lady to lady. Uh, you can be over at the beach here, which we're going to be at. Uh, here's Palomar Mountain, Oceanside, 76, right here. We're on it, baby. Look at that. Look at that highway, how it goes up the mountain. Isn't that cool? Bring back so many memories for me. Oh, great. Take the exit. We we're on 76. And the um, resort that I stayed at is just up the road there a little bit. In Escondido, when I had my RV. So um, anyway, we'll we'll get there. We'll give you some more video. We're gonna walk out on the pier. It's like a half a mile, super wide. At the, the restaurant. Light, use the right two lanes to turn onto CA seventy six toward Bonzel. I apologize for that. But, you know, I gotta have. <laughs> no, you're not. You're not sorry at all. So Miss uh, Miss T had her McDonald's Coke this morning. Mm. I had the best cup of coffee I've right. in my life oh, at the uh, lobby downstairs. Uh, listen to this, and this is not to disparage the hotel, but I wanted to share with you guys, that hotel was the first hotel. Uh, no, Tim, you're disparaging the hotel because you're cheap as anything. I, I'm just starting to realize that, you know, I thought my stepfather was frugal. I guess that's the word to use. But uh, you take frugality to a whole new level, sweetheart. I've ever been to in my life. Get this. That charged to park. stay in the middle two lanes. Yes, parking was not included in the hotel. It was uh, eleven. For about seventeen miles. Continue straight. I can't stand her. 
Yeah. Oh. Well, then don't film when you're trying to drive to places. I can't stand her. It's your GPS trying to tell you where you're getting to, but you're so concerned about popping out nonsense, trite content to make some views. You're never going to hit those 2 million. You're never going to hit 100,000K, in my opinion, unless you buy the subs. Because this content is dull as dishwater. We make it more interesting than you do, Tim. Because you're showing about every one of your personality flaws, in my opinion, in just a nine-minute video. Complaining about the parking. That's how it goes. If you're going to big areas, that's how it goes. If you took your car to Vegas, they're going to charge you for the parking at that hotel, most likely, unless it's included with the room. You have to check those things. So don't be shocked. You're going to, you, you, you'll, there's a term I want to do that, that I can't because it's just not polite. I'm going to end her in a minute. Um, you had to pay $11 to park. Now, it wasn't underground garage parking. And Miss T said, oh, because he built that and it was fancy parking with cameras. Mm -hmm. And also the free breakfast that all of these places give, uh, all the Hilton properties, was $16. No free breakfast. Only coffee and tea. <laughs> so um, That's because people have dressed up in suits or do things and walk in like they're a hotel guest and get a free breakfast. And hotels just can't afford to be feeding America that way. I know that that's kind of probably why they've put a kibosh on some of that. Or people were probably just grabbing stuff so that they could have food throughout the day. I mean, it's, it's a cost that the hotel has to cover. And I promise you, they're not in the business other than making money from renting you that room for the night. So can you imagine? It just Can you imagine going anywhere with Tim? And it's just the entire time him concerned about money and complaining about money. But when somebody sent him $150 to go get some golf stuff, oh my goodness, he was getting $100 golf shirts and, uh, you know, $130 shoes. Not a problem. Laughing all the way to the bank, literally. Just, I... Like I said, I don't like people who just like spend like madly without consideration because I definitely like to watch my money. But there's nothing worse than being on a holiday and having this type of stress, having to listen to this person complain about gas prices, too cheap to even park a car, complaining about parking. Exhausting, Tim. You're exhausting and very selfish, in my opinion. I asked you, and most of the time, to be honest with you, I walk right out of there and maybe grab a banana. I don't really eat uh, the breakfast they have. I try to just, you know, pass yeah, on that, get the coffee and a, and a banana. But anyway, that was a little disappointing. Not so much about the meal because it was probably a very good meal, uh, but the parking, you go and you pay, you want to stay there, and they got to charge you to park. That was weird. No, it's so not. So here we go, Oceanside 8. Not. They do that in hotels in D.C. all the time. <laughs> And so some of these, you know, they realize that you either tack on the parking because often the parking is run by a different company on behalf of the hotel. So it might be monitored by somebody else. I see it all the time in DC. This is why the time I stayed in Georgetown, I made sure that the parking was part of the deal. And if you went over that time, you're going to get charged. It's just, oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like he doesn't understand the modern world. Oh, he must be just a delight to go on vacation with. Oh, they are on vacation. Let me not forget. All right, carry on. Team Miles, we'll be there in about 20 minutes. You're going to see some great video the rest of the day. Thanks for viewing Morning Chat, everybody. Crush it. You know what? Poor Miss Tammy. She does. Oh, let me stop showing that. Miss Tammy doesn't even want to do Morning Chat. I can tell you that much. She does not want to do the Morning Chat. <laughs> All right, this is getting too long. I need to finish it up. People say I'm too long-winded, so let me go. Anyway, if you did like this type of content, subscribe, hit the likes. You know what to do, and uh, we'll see. I'll see you on the next.